Hello everyone, I am Shane1288 with your weekly RuneScape Bite for Monday, March 26th, 2018. This week the Spring Fair is back and it'll run until April 23rd. That's almost one month. This year we've got the Fortune Teller, whom you can return tarot cards to for medium bonus XP stars. You can find the tarot cards while taking part in the Spring Fair activities. The scavenger hunt is also back, and it's carried out by Trixie, and she'll give you a list of items to return with, and once you do, you'll be granted a medium thieving lamp. The Claudia stall has been made to cost no tokens this year, and everyone gets a free run with it daily. It'll reward items that we usually find on Treasure Hunter, so this might be something that you should consider adding to your daily routine. You can get strength XP with the test of strength. Your character uses a mallet and attempts to ring the bell, then it goes yada da 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 and ding ding ding. The Agility Funhouse is a miniature agility course that grants agility XP. Not much to see here. The Easter Egg Shy Guy asks you to knock over the Easter eggs with a ball, cabbage, or chinchampa, and ranged XP will be rewarded upon success. For those wanting cooking XP, you can twirl some candy floss. Unfortunately, it can't be eaten afterwards. The dance floor is returned with its spring-themed dance moves, and this is very similar to the Heffen Post that we have in Fifteenus. This awards prayer experience. Players can give the Bucking Baru a ride for some defense XP, just be sure to hold on tight. Pickaxe Wanging encourages you to throw pickaxes at the Runite Rocks and will grant you XP on success in the mining skill. And finally, don't forget the portals on the south side of the event that can take you to various other RuneScape activities, including deep sea fishing. This year, all the rewards from last year are back, so if you missed any of them, you can pick them up this year. What's more, all rewards are tradable, and this year can also be purchased with rune coins. This year we have five new rewards, including the Hook a Duck Flail, the Fish in a Bag, and Jagex says no, you can't use this to attack people, the Zoltan Plushie, various face paints, and an Easter Egg Hat and Easter Egg Pet. This is, of course, hearkening back to the old rare Easter Egg item. Now moving on to the patch notes for this week. If you have Blue, the Clue Scrolls pet, you can examine it to see the total number of treasure trails that you have completed. Other users examining your pet will show them your total completed Clue Scrolls as well. In regards to deep sea fishing, your fishing streak when using Fishing Frenzy will only now be halved rather than being lost entirely when failing to maintain the streak. This should have huge implications for Fishing Frenzy and the XP rates that we receive there. Small and medium fletching lamps, one from the Treasure Hunter, can now be used by free-to-play players, considering fletching was made free-to-play last year. Enchanted gem packs have been added to the Slayer store for 75 gold a box, and each box contains 50 noted gems with a base stock of 5 boxes that restock at midnight. This is going to be very good for getting precious components, as disassembling Slayer rings is a common go-to for receiving those invention materials. An option has been added to switch the Slayer counter into a Reaper counter by right-clicking on the icon. This will display all of the information that the Slayer counter does, but for Reaper tasks, additionally a tooltip over the kills remaining has also been added. The Slayer counter has also been updated with an extra tooltip that tells you if you have yet to capture the target soul as part of the Slayer Codex. Buy limits per 4 hours are now displayed for the item being viewed on the Grand Exchange interface. This is something that has long been guesswork and has been requested by players many times, so this is a welcome addition. Friends chats can now be added to a favorite chats menu through the addition of a favorite chats button besides the chat settings button inside the Friends chat interface. Players can store up to 5 favorite chats within the menu, so be sure to add bits bytes to your favorite Friends chats. Rune fishing urns can now be stored as a stack within the tackle box. They can store up to 4, 6, 8, 12, and 15 per stack, depending on the tackle box level respectively. The coal bag, gem bag, enhanced gem bag, and spirit gem bag can now be used on a bank deposit box to empty its content directly into your bank. That's it for your weekly RuneScape Bite for Monday, March 26th, 2018. If you want to chat with us in-game, you can find us at Friends Chat Bits Bites, and make sure to add Bits Bites to one of your favorite five Friends Chats. If you found this video at all useful to you, like or subscribe. And we'll see you this weekend on this same YouTube channel for RSBNB Update. See you then.